Ladies and gentlemen, the evidence for red light therapy improving eyesight is stacking up. Just two weeks ago, I did a video where we covered a new study called the Light Sight 3, and this one covered how red light therapy improved age-related macular degeneration. This is one of the most common forms of eye loss as we age, and I'll leave a link above here if you want to go and check that out. But a new study has just come out. This is December 13th, 2024. And this one covers retinous pigmentosa, which is basically a condition where your retina doesn't detect light properly. So in this video, we're going to be unpacking what they found in this study. But to start this entire video, I just want to explain why red light therapy is so good for your eyesight. It's not some magic cure that we've just discovered. It's actually got to do with the fact that the way we're living these days is so unattached from how we lived ancestrally. You know, we never used to spend as much time inside. We weren't exposed to as much artificial light. So to start this video, I just want to show you a quick test. I'm going to use a spectrometer and we're going to compare sunlight and the type of light you get from that, comparing it to artificial light. And I'll use my phone as an example. But to start, let's quickly head outside and I'm going to go and do a quick sunlight test. Okay, so full on selfie style today. We've got some glorious natural sunlight here. And I'm going to quickly test it with this spectrometer. You're going to help me with this test. Okay, so I will quickly take the test in the light and then I'll move back into the shade so we can see it. So we're over here. Run a quick test. Back into the shade. Okay, so you can see there's a good amount of blue light as we would expect, but there's a huge amount of red and infrared going into the near infrared spectrum on the right over there. So let's compare that with what we're exposed to with indoor lighting. All right, so now I'm going to test my cell phone screen and see the type of light that comes from there. It'll take a few moments, wait for the beep. A few moments later. And we're on. Okay, so have a look at this. You're gonna see how much blue light there is in artificial light and almost no tiny amount of red, but that whole, this side of the spectrum is completely gone. It's not used in artificial lighting. And the reason for this is that it's not energy efficient. It uses more electricity. So what we've done trying to be clever humans is we have made artificial lighting more energy efficient, but we've made it completely unnatural. And as a result, when you're under this artificial light, you're exposed to far too much blue light and not enough red and infrared light. So that's why we're gonna see in the study, and I'm sure many more to come, why red light therapy has such a drastic improvement on your eyesight. Eyesight, your eyes are essentially a use it or lose it function. Your eyes use muscles, and just like you go to a gym and you exercise to strengthen your muscles, if you aren't strengthening your eyes with the right type of light, then they will atrophy, the cells will be damaged, and that's why we see these negative effects of spending too much time inside, living like modern humans, has this negative effect on our eyesight. So the study we're covering today is titled Short-Term Results of Multi-Wavelength Photobiomodulation in Retinous Pigmentosa. This was published in the Journal of Clinical Ophthalmology. So what they did in the study is they did nine light therapy sessions with all of the patients, and then they did the evaluations four weeks later. So they stopped the therapy and they still allowed a four week break and they were testing their visual acuity. So how sharp is their vision? And they used the Logmar scores. These are similar to the Schnell diagrams where you see letters that get smaller and smaller. And they noticed that after a four week period after they had stopped the therapy treatments, there was a 15% increase in visual acuity. Now I've worked with many people who have used red light therapy to improve their eyesight. And I'll leave a link up above here to an interview I did with one of the mitochondria customers, Richard, and you can see how his eyesight improved. But doing this is really simple. It literally takes you three minutes per day. What we've seen in the research is you ideally want to do your sessions in the morning. This leads to better results. And it's as simple as switching on a device and just allowing the ambient light to enter through your eyes. So I use the MyLight Move. It's got a desk stand that it comes with. You switch this on. You don't have to aim it directly at your face. You can aim it slightly off. And just allowing that ambient light to enter into your eyes, you're balancing out the negative effects of that harsh blue light that we're exposed to with our indoor lifestyles. So if you want to check out the best red light therapy devices on the market, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. The MyLight Move is great. There are bigger panels if you want to use your red light therapy device for other things, such as arthritis or neuropathy or improving your sleep quality. But it really doesn't matter which size you're getting, as long as you're allowing that ambient light to enter your eyes. And literally, as I said, three minutes per day is the best way to start with this protocol. 
If you have any questions from today's video, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Otherwise, I hope that you have a great day further and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.